What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you this latest Fluid OS and as you can see the Fluid version is 1.1 official build and the Android version is 11 of course and this is the 9th January 2021 build. I would say yes I have been waiting for the latest Evolution X update but that is just simply not coming. And the latest Evolution X as of right now while I am shooting this video does not have the front camera working with the ANX camera. So that is why I did not make a video about that. I am still waiting for an update on that particular Evolution X ROM. And I would say yes whenever the update comes I will make a video on that. Right now let's focus on this fluid ROM. Here we have the build and as you can see the download file is about 1.4 GB it says but it is around 1.2 GB I guess and here we have OSS vendor based fluid OS and this is not a MIUI vendor based ROM so if you are switching from this fluid OS to another particular ROM which is based on MIUI vendor I would say just flash the MIUI vendor first then flash that ROM and flash fcrypt disabler if you are decrypted and all of those things you will get to know if you watch this video from the card right there if you are confused how to flash this ROM you can watch that particular video if you notice the change logs here it says January security patch fix gapps issue so earlier it there was some gapps issues I guess yes the build does include gapps right now so I restored google app data backup here while setting up the ROM and it was totally fine and here it says fixed clock style crash and stuff FOD icon animation redesigned about phone section and new vaulty icon is there then status bar tuner is there source build GPS HL something so yeah these kind of things you can read it out too in the notes it says OSS vendor and gapps included so of course this rom again is based on OSS vendor so that vendor is included in the rom do not worry you don't need to flash any separate vendor here and this is how the about section looks like looks pretty cool i would say very different from other roms and on top pretty cool stuff over here it says fluid 1.1 official rom that's pretty cool and we have the device name has redmi k20 pro and the device's battery capacity and all other specs are listed but i would say the ram if you're noticing it is like saying 5 gb but this is the only thing which is like kind of weird ram should be saying like 6 gb over here but it is saying 5 gb for some reason and the maintainer name is san 9 and we have the resolution and stuff then if you tap on the android version of course you can see this is based on android 11 no doubt with that here we have the latest security patch of January 5th 2021 and the Google Play system update you can see it is 11 and we have the stock kernel as fluid extended kernel. In the system panel there is no system updater over here so if you are someone who was looking for it yes the system updater is just not present and in the gestures let me show you one by one. Inside power menu we have the sensitive content device controls and cards and passes. But no advanced reboot option is there but advanced reboot is there enabled by default here if you are noticing the power menu if you tap on advanced right now as you can see you get all the options to directly reboot to normally like reboot the system and then you can reboot to bootloader or recovery and the system UI also you can reboot from here so advanced reboot is enabled by default and here we have swipe to take screenshot as you can see and if I take a screenshot this is how it looks like you can share them edit them or delete them from here and we have the system navigation gestures here let me show you the settings of the system navigation gestures and you can increase the gesture bar length that is why the gesture bar is pretty long right now as you can see and you can control the dead zone also and we have these left edge right edge customizations and three button navigation is there too but there is no two button navigation for some reason and quickly open camera is enabled you can double tap the power button if you want that feature to work but i'll just disable it for the time being and let me go back from here in the front camera settings this is pretty cool we have this calibration option so if for some reason if your front camera is stuck or something the motor is stuck or something you can calibrate it from here then we have this front camera sound effects and as you can see we have this xylophone condor magic mecha and gear wheel cabin door and these star wars options and we have the front camera raising dialogue so you can enable that if you want to and we have the camera led turning off option let me go back we have the stock keyboard as gboard of course now let me show you the stock launcher here this is the fluid launcher which is present by default and if you want to know the settings of the stock launcher here is how it looks like we have this allow edit option then enable grid options show google app suggestions you can disable that so that's what i like over here there is also this swipe down gesture and double tap gesture so double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen is there and we have this show icon labels on desktop and show icon labels on drawers and stuff you can disable some of them if you want to 
So here, let me actually show you. As you can see, I can just double tap anywhere on the home screen and the device locks. And if you want to see the fingerprint scanner speed, here it is. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed is very fast, even with my left hand thumb, as you can see. And from the lock screen, let me show you by double tapping and waking up the device. Let me show you one more time from the lock screen. And as you can see, very fast and reliable fingerprint scanner, I would say. Now, I just turned on night light. So with that, from the lock screen, as you can see, again, unlocked. Now with the lock screen again, night light turned on. And with the always on display, night light turned on. Again, if you're noticing the fingerprint scanner speed, even with night light turned on, it is very fast and reliable. And I was on the stock launcher. So to the left of this launcher, as you can see, Google's Discover page is there. I can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel. And swiping up gets you to the app drawer, as you are noticing. And here we have the widgets and stuff working flawlessly, no issues with that. And you can search some particular apps if you need to, as you can see. And this is how the stock in call UI looks like. As you are noticing, we have Wi-Fi calling working. So Vue Wi-Fi and VoLTE both are working fine here. No issues, but there is no call recording option as this is the pixel dialer by default present. Now the stock camera here is the Google Camera Go edition. And here we have all these settings and stuff. Then if you want to switch the front camera, as you can see, the front camera also is working fine. Also, you can enable this face kind of smoothing kind of feature. But I would say this is a basic Google camera. It should be working totally fine. It takes very close photos to the Unix version of the Google camera. But yes, the Unix version of the Google camera I have already installed. And I would say, yes, this is far better picture quality you can get from here. And with the night side and stuff, it takes really great pictures. If you want to install this Unix version of the Google camera, you can click on the card right there. Here, as you can see, this is how the quick setting panel looks like. And you can swipe over here and you can add multiple toggles. As you can see, there is also this high brightness mode, which I have added. And here we have the airplane NFC and stuff. If your device supports NFC or has the NFC hardware, because the Indian Redmi K20 Pro simply doesn't. So this NFC toggle is useless over here for me, at least. But if your device is a global one, it should be working fine, I mean. And here we have the Geo Wi-Fi calling and stuff showing up over here. So it will just show that whichever network you are connected, I guess. And this is the Echo battery and uh, internet speed meter. These are two apps kind of notification. Don't worry about those. These won't be present if you are not like using them. And here is how it looks like. Again, we have this screen recording option. And from here, you can have this device audio and the microphone audio both recording option at the same time. Then we have this show stop dot and touch screen stuff over here for the screen recorder. And that should be working fine. And with this high brightness mode, I would say, yes, the display goes really, really bright. So yeah, if you're outdoors, this feature is very, very cool. And we also have this DC dimming feature. If you want to enable that, you can just enable that. And heads up and stuff you can disable. And we have this dark theme. Now talking about the dark theme, one thing I would say, this is how the dark theme looks like. And this is not completely dark. I would say this is kind of a dark gray kind of background over here, but you cannot simply change that. Here, let me show you if I have the dark theme enabled, I'm pretty sure it won't be visible on the camera. So inside dark theme, if I go over here, as you can see, there is this scheduling option, but there is no option to change it to like pitch black or something. So yeah, that feature is kind of missing. Now, while I'm at the display settings, let me show you in the custom display settings, there is the DC dimming and the high brightness mode, which I just showed from the quick settings panel. And here we have the dark theme again and night light and stuff. You can customize that adaptive or auto brightness is there. Then styles and wallpapers is very minimal stuff. And we have the colors boosted and then we have the lock screen mode. And from here we have the always show time and info. This is the always on display. Of course, let me go back. We have the double tap to wake feature. You can enable that. And there is the headline and body fonts. So you can have this one plus slate and stuff, but I like the default font over here. And we have this icon shapes. These many options are present in the display settings. Before I head over to the customization, I want to thank you all because we just crossed 24,000 subscribers mark. And that is huge for me. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel. So now let me just jump into the customization inside fluid customizations. This is how it looks like very cool looking customization section, I would say. And from accent colors, we have these many accent colors. I have been using this aquamarine. I like this color in the dark mode. It looks great. Let me go back. We have the icon shapes and we have this pebble, vessel, etc. options. And there we have the system theme. This is just the like Wi-Fi kind of icons over here. I would say, as you can see, you can change between these many icon style. And that's it. You cannot like scroll over here and change the background theme or the pitch black theme over here. 
let's say those things are missing and here we have the headline and body fonts again and again we have the lock screen clock style over here from here that is cool that you can actually change the lock screen clock this like kind of ui is very cool in say status bar we have the clock settings here we have the am pm style changing option or you can enable the date for the clock and this is how the status bar looks like as i have changed some things over here so yeah we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and we have the use old style mobile data type icon then volte icon and stuff is there at first volte was not appearing like the icon was not appearing so i had to enable this show 4g instead of lte then suddenly the volte came up so yeah the volte icon at first boot was not appearing by default that is just what i want to share here and we have the data disabled icon you can disable that if you want to roaming indicator is there and in say status bar icon tuner we have the headset bluetooth etc icons all those you can enable and here inside quick settings we have the vibrate on toggle touch and inside lock screen we have the volume rocker wake then lock screen charging info is there lock screen double tap to sleep is there and the fingerprint scanner animation is there so this is just let me show you this kind of like fingerprint scanner icon shows up and if you tap on it if you enable this animation that will show up over on the fingerprint scanner but you cannot really choose between the fingerprint icon or the animations over here that is just what i want to clear up over here inside extras we have this playback controls and that's it for the customizations in the battery settings this is how it looks like we just have this battery percentage enabling option that's it you cannot really change the battery icon or something i guess and here we have the screen on time as you can see i have got about one hours and 42 minutes so you can say that every 10 percent will give you one hour of screen on time it gets you about six to seven hours of screen on time over here and you can see the full battery usage just by tapping here so the battery life should be good enough and 18 knot fast charging also works well here now let me jump into the sound settings here is how it looks like we have this link ring and notification volume of course vibrate for calls option is there and we have this media live caption etc now playing option is there and we have all these dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound and this screenshot sound disabling option inside me audio dirac we have this youth edition and stuff and you can change between these many headphone stuff and i would say the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is great there is no issues with that but as this rom is based on oss vendor if you connect a headset which is a like 3.5 headset of course which has the volume rockers that won't work because this rom is based on oss vendor and oss vendor has a problem with that but you can of course use this device's volume rockers that will work super fine and this is how the volume panel looks like as you can see you can expand it so that's pretty cool inside security this is how it looks like we have this ring a bit option and the face unlock option is also there but there is no app lock over here but let me set up the face unlock first so setting up face unlock is done right now let me just try it and as you can see it unlocks but i'm not sure if i swipe up okay so right now as you can see if i double tap over here on the like lock screen or the locked phone as you can see it just pops out the front camera and unlocks the device whenever it detects the face so yeah it unlocks super fine with that and there is also an option to enable swipe to unlock so it won't accidentally like do in your pocket or something so right now as you can see only if i swipe up then it will unlock with the face unlock so this is very cool feature that you can customize it right now let's talk about the general things i would say the drm info still shows as level one for my device as you can see so that means i can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p here without any issues and as you can see as the safety net test passes right out of the box here so that means you do not need magic hide or something to use banking apps like google pay so yes you can use banking apps right out of the box here and if you want to look at the recent panel here is how it looks like and as you can see there is this clear all option and the screenshot option but you cannot really select the text over here by just holding up on them or there is no selection option so yeah that is all so you can clear all the apps or you can switch between apps from here of course right now let me just quickly open some of the apps and show you the app open up speeds and the ram management quickly let's open facebook twitter play store youtube this rom is very very smooth in my opinion no issues that i could find let's open instagram google home now let's actually open all these apps from memory so that i can show you the app on speeds and the ram management here and you can see the benchmarks from the like screen over here i would say the performance of this rom is great no issues with the performance that i could find rom is very very smooth and it is literally fluid that is why i would say the fluid name is pretty apt for this particular rom 
So that was it guys for the Fluid OS on the Redmi K20 Pro. I feel this is a pretty great and simple ROM with a simple amount of customizations. Yes, it does not have those like brightness control gesture and stuff. But yes, it has plenty of good stuff like the double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen and stuff like that. That should be working pretty fine for you. And if you're happy with all the features that I showed for this ROM and you can simply download this ROM and flash it on your device by watching that video on the card again. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends if you want them to use or see the features of this fluid ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro. And please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.